Hi guys and welcome back again with IGCSE Business Studies for 9th and 10th grade. Today we are going to start with our business study materials that contains six sections starting with section 1 understanding business activities, section 2 people in business, section 3 marketing, section 4 operations management, section 5 financial information and financial decisions and section 6 external influences in business activities so guys in ninth grade we are going to take just the first three sections and it will be split into two parts related to semester one and semester two for this year so we are going to take section one and semester one containing these five topics business activities classifications of business enterprise business growth and size types of business organization and business uh, objectives and stakeholder objectives and also we are going to, the, to take the first the first two topics of sections two motivating workers and organization and management let me tell you guys that business study is uh, based on uh, case studies and worksheets and discussion so we are going to split ourselves to into groups and discuss each case study with these groups so guys it's a very interesting materials talking about business studies because all we all are dealing with business daily so let's start our listen today through discuss the understanding of business activity okay guys so let's go the first lesson today we are going to discuss the understanding of business activities what is the business activities so guys the business activities in this chapter we are going to discuss what is the business activities and operations so in this chapter we are going to explain the concepts of needs and wants scarcity and opportunity cost and the factors of productions and the development of economic activity and the use of specializations also we are going to discuss the purposes of business activities and the concept of added value let's start guys with the definitions of the business activities and what is the business but before we discuss the business activities we should know that each business contains two things what is the two things the two things is the goods and needs so what is the good and needs the goods are the goods are sold in our markets or shoes it's like mobile it's like cars it's like anything could be touched physically it called goods the other thing is services what is the services so the services it's like internet services it's like uh, let's say uh, uh, booking and air flight tickets it's a services like uh, going with a taxi it's a services so anything could couldn't be touched physically it calls services so the uh, let's say the business activities is the process of producing the goods and services as we say the goods like clothes devices houses cars the services it's like mobile services bus tickets and so on so what is the needs what is the goods so let's say again guys the business activities is the process of producing goods and services why to satisfy the consumer demand guys we are going to hear very much in this materials the consumer 
the consumer is the customer but in business wise it's called consumer and the demand the demand the request of the customer the consumer demand so all these processes is for satisfying the consumer demand this is the base of our business guys okay so what do you notice about your to list probably the really important items are the need lists the need list and the clothing warm and protection guys let me tell you that we have two important thing we have two important thing what is the two important thing it is called the the needs and the wants what is the needs and the wants we, we just say that the business activities is the process for producing goods and services to satisfy the consumer demand but what is the need the needs is a good or services which essential for our living how that so could we live without air no we couldn't so it is need could we live without eating foods no we can't so it's need so the need is uh, good or services for to keep our life so this is the need but what is the want the want is a good or services also which people would like but it is not essential for our living like a mobile could you live without your mobile yeah I can could we live without uh, cars or without internet yeah we could live so this is a want so it's a very important thing guys and it comes in the external exam and our exams what is the difference between the needs and the wants okay guys so uh, we are going to practice ourselves on this issue later on but let's go through the next slide this is the need and this is the wants as you see here guys so essential for living this is the wants not essential for living this is the needs how that foods is what wants or needs no foods is need or want okay so let's start again so we say that the needs is essential for living a needs it's essential for living so this is wrong this is wrong it's essential for living I just want to test that you are with me or not again the want is not the want is not so it is not essential for living okay so let's start with essential for living needs it's like foods okay it's like air it's like houses what is the wants it's like internet it's like tablet it's like mobiles so this is the difference between needs and wants let's discuss guys the economic problem is something called economic problem there exists unlimited want but limited resources for produce the goods and services to satisfy those wants this creates scarcity we are going also to discuss this later on guys okay so let's concentrate on this lesson on the needs and the wants so again guys the needs is essential for living we cannot live without needs like air like houses and so on and the wants it's not essential for living it's a goods or services both needs and wants are goods and services but one is essential for living needs and one is not essential for living like wants okay guys let's discuss this activity okay it says here make a list of your 10 most important wants so what is my 10 important wants okay I will write now my 10 important wants 
okay. Say here. This is my one. Okay. Number one, uh, mobile. Car. It is not essential for living. Maybe tablet. Let's say uh, internet service. It is all can be lived without these wants. Let's say, uh, for example, uh, airplane ticket. vacation what else uh, let's say uh, laptop uh, let's say uh, perfume Glass, sunny glass, and finally, maybe microwave for my microwave oven. Let's see, this is my ten wands. Can I live without these 10 ones? Yes, I can. Yes, I can. So this is my 10. This is my 10 ones. Okay, let's go to question two. Do you own any of these items? If not, why? Okay, let's go back again to car. Yes, I own a car. Mobile, okay. Tablets, um, actually I don't have a tablet. Internet service, yeah, I have an internet service. Airplane ticket, right now I don't have airplane ticket to travel for some countries to have my vacation day. Vacations uh, plan for any countries, no, I don't have laptop, yeah, I have perfume, actually now I, I don't have perfume. Uh, sunglass, yeah, I have microwave oven, no, I don't have microwave oven. Why? Because I don't have enough money to buy this. So this is why. Maybe in future I will. Okay. If you are lucky enough to own all these items, does this mean that you no longer have any wants? What do you think, guys? What do you think about this question? Let's read it again. If you are lucky enough to own all of these items, does this mean that you no longer have any wants no the wants is just come back again when you just get what you want you just find yourself that you want something else it's related to culture it's related to let's say fashion it's related to many concepts we are going to discuss that later in uh, section four or five i think okay you have a probably identify things that you still want the main reason you may have given for not having all of your wants if you may not have enough money to buy them even if you are able to buy these wants in the future you may have other wants as we said this is because our wants are unlimited our wants are unlimited guys throughout the world 
there are many people who are so poor that they cannot offer to buy the things they need for living let alone afford their wants so some people cannot afford to buy their basic needs other who can afford their basic needs cannot afford to buy what they want surely then the cause of these problems is that consumers do not have enough money let's see if this is case is the case okay let's go guys directly to activity 1.2 and see okay guys a very small Iceland country has the following supplies of the four groups of goods and services identified as a basic needs. Water is a need. We cannot live without water. The quantity available is 50,000 liters. Food, 10,000 kilos. Clothing, 8,000 units. Housing, 400 house. 400 houses so the country has a population of 500 families 500 families each family unit must have the following quantity of each basic needs so the one family need one liters 100 liters and 25 kilos of food and uh, 20 units of clothing and at least one house at least one house to live in a smaller group or with your family or your brother and sister just discuss the following using the information in the tables calculate whether there is enough supply of basic needs in this country to support okay let's see guys so we have 50,000 liters of water and we have 500 families so let's calculate that guys so we are going to divide the number of as you see we have waters 50,000 this is 50,000 divided by the number of families is 500 so the answer will be 100 liters so is the water is enough yeah because the basic needs for each family is 100 liters and we have uh, in this table uh, 50,000 so the water is enough so let's say that the water is enough let's go to the food let's go to the food we have 10,000 we have this is 10,000 kilos of food and we are going to divide it by number of families that 500 the answer will be 20 oh so it should be 25 kilos it should be 25 kilos so we need five units for each family we need five kilos for each families so this is no let's go for the clothing we have 8,000 we have 8,000 units of clothing multiply by number of families 500 the answer will be 16 16 unit the answer should be 20 units so this is also not enough for the families and finally for housing we have just 400 we do not need to calculate it we just have 400 housing for 500 families so it will be 100 family without 100 families without house this is makes something called economic problem what is the economic problem the economic problem 
it says that there is exist unlimited wants unlimited wants but limited resources for producers so we have no enough we have no enough wants for all families in this island in this Iceland so this small Iceland as we discussed there there is no enough for no enough wants for these families for these 500 families okay guys I hope this is very clear let's watch this video guys about the wants and the needs let's watch guys differentiating between needs and wants is very important in this lesson we are going to explain the difference between needs and wants do you have a tablet is that a need or a want of course it helps us in having more fun but do we really need it to survive let's take a look at the items that we use every day and determine if they are a want or a need firstly what are needs needs are what we require to survive which we can't do without such as food clothes and shelter can you think of some examples of needs water rain sun trees school uniforms medicines toothpaste vegetables and fruits are some examples of needs so what are wants? wants are things that we would love to have but can do without wants make our life more enjoyable and comfortable but are not necessarily required to live so children would some of these be your wants pizza going for movies, a tub of popcorn, nachos, playstation, phone, etc. Here is Praveen, who is all happy and excited to get back to school after his summer holidays. Praveen asks his parents to get him a new fancy bag, new shoes, new branded cricket bat, bottle, pens, etc. But Praveen's mom tells him to first clear his room and make a list of the previous year's supplies available. Let's help Praveen list down the things he already has. Fancy bag, fancy bottle, lunchbox, coloring and painting set, stationery box. Praveen and his mother then make a list of his needs and wants. Needs Pens Pencil box School shoes Wants New fancy bag New fancy bottle Branded cricket bat Praveen agrees with his mom that he does not need a new fancy bag or a new bottle. Have you all understood the difference between needs and wants? That's wonderful. However, sometimes one person's want may be another person's need. For example, Praveen's friend Kevin is on the school cricket team and hence needs a good quality branded cricket bat. But Praveen is an amateur player and can use his old locally made bat. So a need here is a branded cricket bat for Kevin but a new branded cricket bat for Raveen is a want. Can you tell which of these are needs and which of these are wants? Study table School shoes Designer dress 
electricity, branded jerseys, water bottle, LPG gas, vacation, music downloads, expensive phone. So the next time you buy something, ask yourself, do I need this item or do I just want it? So guys, if you just buy something, ask yourself this question, do I need this goods or service or do I want? This is our main purpose of our lesson today, but let's talk or have an introduction about the economic problem or the real case. Okay guys, so the economic problem as we say the real cause of the shortage or scarcity of goods and services is that there are no enough factors of a production what is the factor of production guys we have four main factors of production we have four main factors of production the first one is the land the second one is labor the third one is capital the fourth one is enterprise the land we need the land for production labor as we know the workers in another way labor or the workers the capital the capital we mean here in business guys is the money the budget the money the money we need to initiate the business the money we need to initiate the business is called in business capital is called capital okay and Finally, we have something called enterprise. What is the enterprise? This is the skill and risk-taking ability of a person who brings the other resources or factors of production together to produce good or service. For example, the owner of business, these people are called entrepreneurs. entrepreneurs. These people are called entrepreneurs. So again, guys, the four factor of production it's very important it's always comes in the exam and also in the external exam is land labor capital and enterprise and we are going to discuss these four concepts of uh, let's say factors of production details later on guys so let's say guys is lands this term is used to cover all the natural resources are provided by nature and includes fields and forests it's like oil gas metals and other miners resources it is all called land so the labor this is the number of people available to make products the number of people available to, mo to make products is called labor the capital as we said is a machinery and equipment need for manufacture of goods this is the capital this is the money we need to initiate the it could be machines or it could be money for initiate or uh, product uh, goods or services the enterprise as we see so again factors of production guys are those resources need to produce goods or services there are four facts as we said of productions land labor again capital and enterprise so what is the scarcity guys this all the questions comes in the business study including case studies so in the external exam he will give you a uh, a paragraph discuss with you an example and just ask you about these definitions he will not ask you the, the definitions directly he will ask you the definitions through the case studies or through examples so guys we should understand the definitions very well not just to memorize okay so maybe sometimes you just memorize the 
definition but you cannot specify the these definitions in, uh, inside the case study or inside the question so what is the scarcity the scarcity is the lake of sufficient products to fulfill the total wants of the population again the scarcity is a lake of sufficient products to fulfill the total wants of the population and also we are going to discuss these later on in brief so guys what is important in this lesson let's summarize our lesson today we have as we see in the first slide something called business activities so we say that the business activities is to produce goods and services to satisfy the consumer needs to satisfy the consumer needs what is the goods what is the services we say that the goods it's like something can be touched physically like clothes like tablets laptop cars and so on houses all these is called goods what is the services the services is something cannot be touched it's a service it's like an internet service it's like when you just buy for uh, airplane ticket you are not buying the airplane you just buy the service to taking you to another region so this is the business activities and we just discussed today the needs and the want we say that the needs it's a goods or services that keeping our life it's an essential to keep our life this is the needs this is the needs what is the wants the wants is something is not essential for keeping our life it's like an internet it's like cars anything anything is not essential for our life this is the the wants okay guys so uh, to to memorize this very well just look around you and see what is the needs what is the wants and if you just want to buy something just ask yourself it is a needs or it is a want okay guys i hope you benefited from our lesson today keep yourself and your families safe take care and goodbye guys